Here it is guys, the new and improved arrow gun. You might notice it looks a lot like one of my first guns. I'm using the, some of the same components, I'm using the uh, pressure washer handle with my multi-shot setup with the uh, Schrader valve there. Going up to a uh, QEV, we've got the uh, self-closing uh, filling valve there on the bottom and we've got a uh, soda stream bottle for the tank and then the uh, standard arrow and barrel so anyway it's already filled up I got it to 500 psi it's just under it's probably going to be about at 480 right now um, so quite a bit higher than I was able to get before before I was shooting at what through 350 so we're at about uh, 480 now and I can probably take this up to 800 um, my compressor only does about 600 though. So anyway, uh, enough talking. Let's take some shots of those laptops and uh, see how it does this time. All right, there it is. Um, set up with the Toshiba we're gonna be shooting at. It's a little bit worse for wear, but we're gonna make it work. So like I said, probably at about 480 PSI. I'm gonna take a, a little steps back here and a few steps back and, and take a shot at it. Um, yeah, here we go. Well, there it is. Let's see how it compared to the previous. I think there may have been a slight issue. This is my first shot ever with this setup, so I think there may have been a slight issue with a, a small leak um, in the uh, pressure washer handle, actually, which is kind of weird, but let's take a look at what it did here. Let's see if it came out. No! There's... Hold on. Uh, I mentioned in one of my previous videos that the arrow actually went all the way through in, in a shot that I had done uh, unrecorded and there's actually the hole from the arrow uh, so it did actually go all the way through on this one at one point but um, yeah it, it came through the screen here uh, as you can see right here is the, the end of it so yeah anyway um, let me go do some messing around and we'll take another shot at this thing Hey guys, so as you saw in that previous video, um, my gun ended up having a malfunction. Um, it was nothing serious. Uh, what it ended up being is the QEV, uh, the diaphragm inside the QEV would cock at a weird angle after firing and uh, it wouldn't seal the barrel. So what was happening is all the air was just escaping out of the uh, soda stream bottle, um, past the rubber diaphragm and out of the barrel. Um, I actually ended up making that video about five days ago now and I've just been messing with a couple of things uh, inc including a new design which I'll show you some teaser pics of and maybe you can guess what it is um, as well as kind of working a little bit on that uh, the arrow gun um, so I'm going to show you a picture now of three new diaphragms more or less that I was making for the QEV and they are made out of nylon and as you can see there's the three different ones that I made um, the idea was that by making them out of nylon uh, they wouldn't be able to cock inside of the uh, inside of the QEV itself um, because they're obviously a lot more stiff um, they pretty much can only move forward and backwards and not at an angle so I tried three different designs they're all just a little bit different and none of them worked at all actually uh, the the nylon wouldn't seal against the barrel and no matter what it would always leak out of the barrel uh, no matter the pressure no matter if there was a, a hole behind it a spring it didn't matter um, so at that point I kind of gave up uh, for the time being I was just so frustrated with it after all this uh, work I would put into making these new um, diaphragms and, and none of them worked I kind of just gave up on it um, and actually just today now, so five days later, um, I, had, I had previously tried putting a couple different springs behind the rubber, the stock rubber diaphragm. Um, I put in another equalization hole behind it, or, or through the diaphragm. I don't have any pictures of that, but just imagine it with another hole in it. Um, and every time it would, it would do 
one of two things. It would either, uh, with the spring behind it, it would either um, cock still when it was, after you had fired it once, it would fire fine once, and then the diaphragm would get cocked and it wouldn't go back and seat against the barrel and it would leak, or, and I don't really know what was happening here, but it, you would pull the trigger and it would fire fine, and but then whenever you'd pull the trigger again, nothing happened. It like wouldn't dump behind it, so it was like it was sealing the holes maybe, and that's why I, threw, I put another hole through it, um, a slightly larger one, um, and no matter what, no matter what springs I put behind it, I even tried doubling up springs, I tried a bunch of stuff, none of it worked. Uh, so like I said, I gave up on it. Now today, I had uh, a spring that I had previously used, and I, I put it in, and now it appears to be working fine. Um, there's a couple little issues that I need to deal with still. Um, I need to make a secondary chamber off of the pressure washer handle. Um, it needs a little bit more volume than, than what it currently has um, where the uh, Schrader valve is. Uh, but other than that, it was working fine. And now, uh, I didn't take a video of this, but I'm going to show you a picture here of the damage that this arrow did at about 400 PSI. Uh, it went almost all the way through this laptop, blew right through it, um, and ended up smashing the fan and it stopped where it hit the metal fan housing. This was after going through, you know, the plastic, the screen, the circuit board, everything. Um, and that was only at 400 PSI. I'm hoping to take this gun up to 600. I should also mention, I did do one other modification, which I don't have a picture of. Um, but where the QEV itself connects to the chamber uh, was a very small hole. It was probably, I don't know, probably bigger than a six of an inch, but not by much. Eh, it's probably between a sixteenth and a quarter, actually, now I think about it. And I drilled that out to um, just a little over a quarter inch, so that helped a ton. I can tell already um, that that, you know, helped a lot. So, uh, anyway, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, like I said, I did do that shot that I just showed you the picture of uh, today, and it, and it worked good. I do need to do a couple quick modifications to it, um, and then I'll, I'll get some more videos up for you guys. Uh, and anyway, here's the teaser pick of something I've been working on. Maybe you can guess what I'm trying to do here. Uh, if you have a guess, leave a comment. Um, and yeah, anyway, stay tuned for more, and I uh, hope you guys are doing well. See you later.